while Horses Healing Heroes, the name of a nonprofit that this morning is looking to help veterans by pairing them with horses. The group was formed in 2009, all with the goal of providing a space for veterans to release, readjust, and reconnect. ABC Den's Marcus Allen is out in Galt this morning, hanging out with some of the star horses and learning more about this program. Hey, Mark. Yeah, I, I was going to be riding through the shot, as I said earlier, but uh, this horse, all this horse wants to do is eat. Am I right? Yes, you're right. I, can't, I mean, come on, it's that time of the morning. I got some instructions just a moment ago about how to get off. Do you mind if I just flip over and just hop off instead of slide off? Yep. Is that okay? I'm, I'm going to just do this. Pardon me for just a second, kids. All right. Hang on just a second. And boom. All right. I wish you had a shorter horse, by the way. Hey, Deborah, step on up. Horses Healing Heroes. We are live in Harold. Where exactly is Harold? We are south of Wilton and east of Galt. Got it. Deborah, Horses Healing Heroes is an amazing thing. We have these majestic Clydesdales, and you have people that uh, have PTSD, yes. all kinds of things going on because of uh, what they've seen, what they've done, maybe some injuries. How do these horses help them? Horses absorb our anxiety. Um, and they they don't they listen they don't dime you out they're not going to ask questions and poke and prod they just will absorb it so we teach our veterans our um, first responders that have job related stress as well yeah. to take the horse for a walk without me and tell the horse your problem your, your father was a veteran you said this was sort of founded in this World War II veteran that you knew and loved yes my dad I grew up with horses when he was a kid in Missouri I took him out and through his dementia, he connected with one of my horses and the smile on his face when that horse reached over and nudged him was what started me wanting to do this program to put that smile on more veterans' faces. That's amazing. All right, Stephen, if you'd step, step front and center, step into the light, Stephen. Uh, so Stephen, thank you again for your service. You're, you're a veteran and I say doubly so because you served in the Navy and I the Army. I served in the Navy out of high school, 10 years active duty. Then I got out after 10 years and then I went into entrepreneurship. And then after, shortly after 9-11, I joined the California National Guard in their federal technician program. And I did that for 10 years. And then, uh, you're, you know, your brothers and sisters uh, in the military, you've seen them benefit from this. Yes, I have. Most definitely. And I benefit myself coming out here and working with the horses. It's probably why I don't scuba dive anymore, because this is a little more relaxing. <laughs> this is more relaxing. Yeah, I can only imagine. All right. Well, to sum it all up, this weekend, there is going to be a huge event. You're going to want to be a part of this, a big party, a big fandango taking place about a mile down the road, dancing, music, uh, uh, dance lessons. Yes, line dancing, two-step lessons. We're calling it Wranglers and Rhinestones, and it's um, going to be full dinner, full bar, Lots of auction prizes. We have some really fun stuff that's been donated, um, and it's uh, just down the road at their Champagne Ranch. Got it. Saturday. An award-winning barbecue, I'd add, and also camera guy Don. Don, I signed you up for the line dancing lessons. So camera guy Don's going to be there. I'm going to make it by. You should be there, too, and I'll put all the information at abc10.com later on, and also on Facebook. It's Mark S. Allen Show. Uh, this is Kid. Miss you are. Maggie Stevens. Got it. Steven, Deborah, and Mandy Audette. Got it. And buried in the food, that's Bullwinkle. I guess uh, that's everybody. Back to you. And Ma is Rocky's behind you, right? You got Rocky and Bullwinkle out uh, there. Mark, your fan kick over the horse was the most impressive. Yeah. Love to see that. I do have one question for you. This program has been going on for over yes. a decade now. What's one of the biggest challenges to keep it going? Yeah, one of the biggest challenges to keep it going would be what? Dollars. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the money, thus the fundraisers. How can they also help you? Uh, we have a Facebook page where they can make donations there. Um, we need volunteers, always need volunteers to come out and help us, um, especially if they have horse experience. Um, these are just two of the herd. We actually have 10 horses in the program. There you go. Horses Healing Heroes. The Facebook page is that? Yes, www.horseshealingheroes.org. There you go. They, they could use your money. They could use your help. I'll come out and scoop poop because that's pretty much my specialty. <laughs> Perfect. If you can't donate money, you can always donate time. Absolutely. <laughs> Marcus Allen, Rocky Bullwinkle, and the whole group out there. Thank you. A beautiful early morning.